multiplication by carrying over to the tens and hundreds place. Starry, today we will once again study carrying over in multiplication. But not only carrying over to the tens place. We will also do carrying over to the hundreds place. I am sure you remember carrying over to the tens place. You studied that with both two digit and three digit numbers. Let us begin by multiplying 375 by 2. First arrange the multiplication vertically. Next we multiply the units digit 5 in 375 by 2. The product is 10. The number 10 has 0 in the units place and 1 in the tens place. Write the 0 of 10 in the units place of the product. And carry over the 1 tens from 10 to the tens column. And write it above the tens in the multiplicand, that is, above 7. Next, multiply the tens digit 7 in 375 by 2. We get... 14 tens. Add to this the carried over 1. The product is 15 tens. 15 tens means 100 plus 5 tens. So write 5 in the product in the tens place. Carry over 100 to the hundreds place and write it above the hundreds in the multiplicand that is above 3. Now multiply the hundreds digit 3 in 375 by 2. We get 6 hundreds. Add to this the carried over 1. We get 7 hundreds. Write it in the product in the hundreds place. The product is 750. Now let us multiply 134 by 5. First arrange the multiplication vertically. Next, we multiply the units digit 4 in 134 by 5. The product is 
20. The number 20 has 0 in the units place and 2 in the tens place. Write the 0 of 20 in the units place of the product. And carry over the two tens from 20 to the tens column. And write it above the tens in the multiplicand that is above 3. Next, multiply the tens digit 3 in 134 by 5. We get 15 tens. Add to this the carried over 2. The product is 17 tens. 17 tens means 100 plus 7 tens. So, write 7 in the product in the tens place. Carry over 100 to the hundreds place and write it above the hundreds in the multiplicand that is above 1. Now multiply the hundreds digit 1 in 134 by 5. We get 5 hundreds. Add to this the carried over 1. We get 6 hundreds. Write it in the product in the hundreds place. The product is 670. And now let us revise what we have learned by multiplying 255 by 2. First arrange the multiplication vertically. Next we multiply the units digit 5 in 255 by 2. The product is 10. Write the zero of 10 in the units place of the product. And carry over the one tens from 10 to the tens column and write it above the tens in the multiplicand that is above 5. Next, multiply the tens digit 5 in 255 by 2. We get 10 tens. Add to this the carried over 1. The product is 11 tens. 11 tens means 100 plus 
one tens. So write one in the product in the tens place. Carry over one hundred to the hundreds place and write it above the hundreds in the multiplicand that is above two. Now multiply the hundreds digit two in two hundred and fifty five by two. We get four hundreds. Add to this the carried over one. We get five hundreds. Write it in the product in the hundreds place. The product is five hundred and ten. Now, a few mixed problems to make sure you have understood your multiplication. Multiply 429 by 2. First, multiply the units digit 9 in 400 and 29 by 2. The product is 18. Write the 8 of 18 in the units place of the product. And carry over the one tens from eighteen to the tens column and write it above the tens in the multiplicand that is above two. Next, multiply the tens digit two. In four hundred and twenty nine by two, we get four tens. Add to this the carried over one. The product is five tens. Write five in the product in the tens place. Now multiply the hundreds digit 4 in 429 by 2. We get 8 hundreds. Write it in the product in the hundreds place. The product is 858. Finally, multiply 180 by 4. First, multiply 
the units digit 0 in 180 by 4. The product is 0. Write the 0 in the units place of the product. Next, multiply the tens digit 8 in 180 by 4. We get 32 tens. 32 tens means 300 plus 2 tens. So write 2 in the product in the tens place. Carry over 300 to the hundreds place. And write it above the hundreds in the multiplicand. That is above 1. Now multiply the hundreds digit 1 in 180 by 4. We get... 4 hundredths. Add to this the carried over 3. We get 7 hundredths. Write it in the product in the hundredths place. The product is 7 hundred and 20. I'm sure you have enjoyed today's multiplication sums.